Hello everyone. So in this video, I just wanted to take some time uh, to go over how you can connect and set up your microphone on your PC. So whether or not you are using a simple USB plug and play microphone or an XLR base microphone like this that uses an XLR wire. And in some cases, you might be using an XLR wire that goes into the 3.5 millimeter jack and then is converted using a USB converter such as this one here. Whatever the case may be, uh, the methods that I'm going to go over now will help you and assist you in setting up your microphone on your PC so that it sounds good. Now, I know that a lot of you were also complaining about having um, some audio issues. So uh, either the computer wasn't picking up enough sound. Uh, we're going to go over how you can uh, adjust that within your PC. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so uh, before we get started, I think that it is important that I point out that when you are connecting your microphone to your PC, uh, that you connect it directly into the mic input. Now, sometimes the easy way is just to take your microphone and plug it into the front interface that is on your computer. Uh, sometimes this might present an issue and you might not be able to have sound coming to your microphone because it doesn't have enough phantom power. So just to rule out this issue, it's always better to plug it into the mic input that is uh, in the back of your computer and that connects to the motherboard. In some cases, you might find that your laptop or your PC doesn't provide enough phantom power for your XLR microphone to function. In this case, it would be worthwhile to invest in an XLR phantom power device. Uh, you can pick up one of these devices for approximately $30 US on Amazon. You can also go the extra mile and pick up an audio interface that has phantom power. And this way it gives you a better control over your gain and volume levels at the same time. It has been my experience that using these audio interfaces as well as external phantom power devices uh, that it offers a cleaner sound uh, to your audio. So this is something to look into. And right now I'm just going to connect my XLR microphone directly into my PC using the 3.5 millimeter jack. And I'm going to show you exactly what happens when I do this. So as soon as I plug in my XLR microphone using the 3.5 millimeter jack, I get a notification uh, asking me which device did I plug in. Now I'm going to just select okay that this is the mic in. Okay, so I have the XLR microphone right here, okay, this is the Zing UZY007. And in order to check whether or not this microphone is functioning, simply go to the start menu here, and then type in sound settings, click on sound settings here. And then right away when I plugged it in, it recognized the microphone and it was picking up sound. And it is picking up sound, okay? So we can tell that this microphone is in fact working. And if by chance you have other microphones that are connected to your computer, you can always uh, select the input that you would like to use. Now, if in a particular case where you're using it and you're not able to monitor any sound being registered by the computer, then what you can do is simply go to the control panel here. Okay. And then underneath hardware and sound, um, and then underneath sound, click on manage audio devices. And then once underneath uh, audio devices, click on recording. And then right here, you can also see that the computer is already picking up sound. But if you wanted to uh, increase the gain uh, because you feel as though the microphone isn't loud enough, then you can just select the microphone here and then go to properties and then go to levels. And then here you will be able to adjust your microphone as well as the microphone boost. Okay. So it's also uh, important to be mindful that if you do boost the gain too much, you might have a little bit more distortion or background noise. So this is something just uh, to be mindful of, and you can just adjust it to the point where you're happy with it and that there's not that much uh, distortion. Okay. So this is how pretty much you set up your microphone uh, using windows. I, I do not own a Mac PC, but I'm sure that the process would be fairly simple. 
And this can be applied whether you're using your XLR microphone or even a simple USB plug and play microphone as well. So that pretty much sums up this video. I just wanted to make sure that you guys had uh, proper instructions on how to set up your microphone on your PC. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them down below. I would love to hear from you. And if you enjoy the content of this channel, then it would help me a whole lot if you were to subscribe. Until the next video, guys, take care.